More positive news for a coronavirus vaccine. This time, uh, one has been shown to be 94.5% effective at preventing COVID-19 and doesn't need to be stored at such low temperatures. The trial is ongoing and the US firm Moderna plans to apply to regulators in the coming weeks to get approval for emergency use of the jab. The results come after similar results from Pfizer and add to growing confidence that vaccines can help end this pandemic. So let's take a closer look because interim results for this phase three trial show that the vaccine is 94.5% effective at stopping symptomatic infections. It can be transported at a standard freezer temperature of around minus 20 degrees Celsius, which could be a significant benefit over Pfizer's vaccine, which needs to be stored at minus 70. The vaccine requires two doses, four weeks apart. The United States has pre-ordered stocks of this vaccine and Moderna expects to have 20 million doses available for the US by the end of the year. And it plans to make 500 million to 1 billion doses available for use around the world in 2021. Well, the company's president, Dr. Stephen Hodge, spoke to our medical editor, Fergus Walsh. Obviously, we're thrilled. It's been a long year for many of us. Uh, and at our company, it's been a long, hard slog to get to the point where we now have clear evidence of efficacy of the vaccine to prevent COVID-19 disease. Uh, there was a moment of, of pretty intense relief. Uh, it's been a long, hard uh, strive, as I said. But uh, that quickly passed. After about a minute, it became a realization that now that we know the vaccine works, we have to get busy uh, to work manufacturing it and distributing it. But um, clearly a, an important milestone and, and a great milestone for us as a company and, and hopefully for us more generally as we fight this pandemic. Well, let's talk now to Dr. Maria Sundaram, who's an infectious disease expert for the Institute for Clinical Evaluation Sciences in Toronto and joins me live here on the program. How excited are you by this development? Extraordinarily so. This is really great news. Uh, just in terms of what we've discovered a week after the Pfizer results were, were revealed, is that a coincidence or, or is there some form of data sharing? How is it that we're getting these uh, results in quick succession? It's possible that uh, the sort of timeline at which we're getting these results is uh, purely coincidental. I think uh you know we're getting them as soon as they can come out and uh it happened that pfizer and moderna both uh, were able to sort of report those results on similar timelines but great news for us uh, a great couple of weeks i think and which bit makes you most optimistic is it that statistics of 94 and a half percent effectiveness is it the fact that uh, storage temper is only minus 20 what is it that most excites you the, most, the thing that most excites me is a combination of the 94.5% uh, effectiveness uh, estimate and the fact that they were able to observe so many COVID-19 cases. Uh, normally when we do a trial, we want to see a certain number of people having the outcome that we're trying to pre uh, prevent, just so that we know that the treatment is truly effective and not just uh, you know, due to random chance. So the number of cases that uh, were seen in the Moderna trial that are being reported in these interim results are promising that this 94.5% effectiveness estimate is really very much a true representation of what we can expect to see in a broader group of people. So I find that very heartening and very reassuring. Both, both last week and, and this week, we're still waiting for the safety analysis. What do you think is the likely time frame on that? I hope it's quite soon. Um, I know that uh, a lot of people, myself included, are really very, very interested in the safety results. I think the preliminary results uh, from Moderna are very promising. Um, they're, they're, it's a similar safety profile to other vaccines that we might be familiar with, like flu vaccines. So you might experience some pain at the injection site. You might feel junky for maybe a day, but uh, not something uh, quite so severe uh, as like a prolonged fever or anything like that. So also very, very good news. Increasingly, is the focus now, do you think, uh, turning to manufacturing, to distribution, to fairness, all those sorts of absolutely fundamental questions? Yes, absolutely. Um, what I like to say, and I hope this will be relevant for your viewers as well, uh, as an American, I like to say this is just one inning in the baseball game. So, uh, you know, we needed a vaccine. And uh, once we have a vaccine, we're going to need to be able to deliver that vaccine. So every vaccine that remains in the vial and not in people's arms is 0% effective. Uh, so now absolutely, you're right, we need to focus on exactly how we're going to manufacture all the other components that come with vaccines, the needles, the syringes, the boxes that they're packaged in, 
and then they need to be delivered fairly and equitably as well as quickly. Well, Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, just as a quick postscript uh, to what we were talking about there, uh, interesting because uh, the company uh, have uh, uh, been obviously giving that uh, information about uh, uh, distribution and uh, temperatures. And uh, just a line from the uh, head of vaccines for the US Operation Warp Speed program saying Moderna's uh, vaccine will be easy to distribute, particularly to rural areas, because it can be stored for one month at standard refrigerator temperatures. So uh, uh, they too, at the head of the vaccines uh, at the US Operation Warp Speed program, uh, encouraged by what they've heard from the company there in America. We'll have uh, plenty more on that story throughout the course of our program.